So today we are going to discuss the vectorial analysis of potential in different leads. In the last few lectures, we have already discussed that the ECG or the electrocardiogram is basically recorded with the help of ECG machine and which takes the input from 12 different ECG leads. Out of the 12 leads, three are the bipolar, uh, bipolar limb leads, three are the unipolar limb leads and six are the precordial or, or the chest leads. Then we discussed that whenever there is a depolarization of the heart, there is a wave of electric current moving through the heart and that wave of electric current can spread into the surrounding structures and it can then be detected from the different parts of the human body with the help of electrodes. But when this uh, current is spreading in the in a specific direction, it's it basically forms small vectors, and when it combines together, it makes one one in one vector which is basically known as mean instantaneous vector at the instant in which it is recorded. And normally, the 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 uh, the angle of that vector is about fifty nine degrees. Then we discussed that the different leads of the ECG when they combine together, they make this type of scale, this measuring scale with the help of which, with the help of which basically the, the angle, the axis of the vector can be determined. So this scale is basically representing the different types of ECG. Here we have the lead one, here we have the lead two, here we have the lead 3, here we have the AVR. So this is something which we have discussed in detail in the previous lecture. And we discussed that the values and the degrees and the axis of these leads are fixed. But the, the axis of the heart, the vector, the cardiac vector is basically not fixed. It is moving. It depends upon the physiological and the pathological condition of the heart and this vector is not fixed but the values of these vectors are fixed and the, the axis of the vector is determined with the help of this measuring scale which is fed into an ECG machine. So today we are going to discuss how the potential of a vector can be analyzed with the help of different types of leads. Here today we will take lead 1. Here we have we will take lead 1. And we see that if we take a vector of the heart, suppose this is the vector and it is pointing in a direction of about 59 degrees. If we want to see that how it will look on the lead 1, we will draw lead 1 straight here. We will draw lead 1 straight here and then we will throw a perpendicular line towards the lead 1. Here we will see that we will get a shadow of this vector on the lead 1. The, the length of this shadow, the length of this shadow will be basically showing the potential or the the length of the vector and the direction of this vector will be showing basically the direction of the vector whether it's a, a positive deflection or it's the negative deflection suppose this vector is towards the opposite side it's now about 120 degree but the lead one is fixed this is the same lead one if we want to determine the 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 axis of this lead on uh, this vector on lead 1 we will apply the same formula we will put the lead 1 here and we will throw a perpendicular line towards the lead 1 a shadow will be formed which will be basically representing this this lead so from this example we see 
that lead one is basically the same the position of lead one is fixed it is present at a zero degree or 180 degree and normally if the positive ions are moving from the negative towards the positive the direction or the deflection will be positive the deflection will be positive but if the positive ions are moving from the positive towards negative then the deflection will be negative so lead is the same its value is the same but change in vector change in vector change in the position the length and the direction of the vector will lead to different value being recorded on lead one so here we see if the vector is about 60 degree the length is the length of the vector is more but if this vector is slightly is almost perpendicular here it's not perpendicular here it is going making a big angle here the angle is uh, is here the angle is not that much or it's almost perpendicular so if it's almost perpendicular then we see that the shadow of the this vector is very small as compared to this shadow where it's very large so this lead lead one is basically it is present between the right the right the right and the left arm and it is looking at the heart from above and depending upon the position of the vector it will make a shadow of the vector similarly if the same vector is taken if the same vector is taken it is put here and all the three leads of the heart are applied the lead one the lead two and the lead three and we want to determine that how this vector will look like in all these leads so we will have to throw some perpendicular line we will throw a perpendicular line here and it will give us the length of the shadow of this vector on lead 2 if you want to see how this vector will look on lead 3 we will throw a perpendicular line toward the uh, or, uh, or if you want to see it on lead 1 we will throw a perpendicular line toward this lead 1 and it will show its shadow on lead 1 similarly if you want to see that how this vector a looks look like on lead 3 then we will have to throw a perpendicular line toward the lead 3 and it will give us a shadow of this vector a on lead 3 so this scale is basically from this scale only the bipolar limb lead has limb leads have been taken and it has it have been applied here here over the normal cardiac vector which is around 59 degree and we have seen that the different types of shadows one shadow is large the other is a bit small and the third is very small these different shadows of the same vectors have been formed on different types of leads this shows that how different types of leads different types of electrodes applied on different position of the human body will make different image of the vector and it will show the the vector size the cardiac vector from different angles now if we apply the same thing and we want to see this thing on the ecg paper we will see that the the qrs complex of lead 2 in this in this uh, vector is almost double the size of lead 1 and lead 3 and this this data has been taken from these leads here if you see in lead 2 the length of the shadow of this vector a is quite large and it's almost double here and the length of this shadow is very small in lead 3 and it's very small in lead one as well so this is how the ecg strips 
basically shows how different types of lead look at the heart and how they differently perceive and uh, form different types of images of the same vector and looking from different angles and giving different sets of data that when analyzed properly will give a proper image of the cardiac axis. So that's all about the vectorial analysis of potential in different lead. In the next lecture, we are going to discuss the vectorial analysis of potential for a normal QRS complex in a normal ECG. So thanks a lot for watching the video.